What's up everyone? It's your girl Shay here and I'm back with another video for you guys. And first of all, I want to say if my lighting looks kind of strange, it's because of two reasons. Number one, it's now daylight savings time. So for me, it now gets dark a lot earlier. And not only that, since I'm in, obviously in California, there are multiple fires going on right now. So outside my window, it's really, really smoky and it's covering the sun up. So hence why the lighting might be bad, but by me looking at my camera doesn't look that bad. So yeah, but anyway, let's get on with the video. So I decided that now I'm going to do a anime review. And this week I've actually started watching and I have now completed the anime Recovery of a MMO Addict. And I actually really enjoyed this show. The show has about 10 episodes. I believe that's also including the OVA, I believe. I might be wrong about that. I also watched it dubbed via Funimation on the VRV app. Even though Funimation is no longer going to be a part of VRV, this was before their licensing or before their partnership with Crunchyroll has now gone away or however you want to call it. And I know this is an older anime, it came out about a year ago, but I hadn't had a chance to watch it. And like I mentioned earlier, I enjoyed it. Well, I enjoyed it once I got to a certain part of the show. But anyway, the show is about a lady by the name of Moriko Morioka, who basically quits her job and decides to become a full-time neat. So she goes online and discovers a MMO and she just ends up making a lot of friends online, including a girl by the name of Lily. Now, while playing the game, she also comes in contact with a gentleman that she actually used to work with and also his friend whose name is Sakurai. There are also a lot of hidden secrets and things like that among this entire group that keeps the, well, you, the watcher, guessing the entire length of the show. Now, I'm not going to lie, at first when I saw the title of the show and started watching it, I was thoroughly confused. Because at first I was thought I was thinking that it was going to be where Morioka is going to be trying to stop being an MMO addict, but in reality it was basically like her playing the game full time. It also started to become a little bit of a love story and that was a turn I definitely was not expecting nor was I expecting there to be any like mystery to it and that's what made me really enjoy it the most. There are moments in the show where I was truly rooting for Morioka and I was also rooting for Sakurai, another character in the show, and I couldn't wait to see what was going to happen next between these two because it was a combination of like Secret secrecy involving them playing the MMO and also between romance with these two meeting in real life all of a sudden through some crazy different circumstances. And you also start to learn more about the people whom she's playing with. Well, not all of them, but some of them. You actually don't learn about all of the characters that are involved in this show. You learn about maybe two to three of the characters but not a whole lot of them which was something I was kind of disappointed about but then after realizing that the show is so short I kind of understand now why they had to kind of pick and choose which characters they kind of divulged a little bit more of the story into compared to trying to tell the backstory or tell the story of all these different multiple characters. But overall I actually really enjoyed the story. When it came to the character Morioka I actually kind of in a lot of ways saw myself in her. I'm not a full time neat or anything like that but seeing how awkward she is when it comes to romance and also her kind of doubting herself a lot I thoroughly understood and kind of saw a lot of myself in her and to be honest I kind of saw a lot of how my boyfriend is in the also the male lead Sakurai which was kind of what made me want to watch the show even more and really got me into it. Like I mentioned before, the first few episodes of the show, I kind of, I'm not going to say lost interest per se, but I was just kind of confused on what route this show was going to go. But as it got into like, I would probably say maybe the fourth episode of the show, I was really getting into it because I started to see how the mystery was kind of unfolding and also, of course, the romance. So... I definitely recommend checking out this show if you haven't already. I'm sure you can watch the subtitled version on Crunchyroll if you do not use 
Funimation. But if you are someone who's interested in watching the dub or if you want something that you can kind of watch but also still do other things in the meantime, I definitely recommend it. I didn't find the dub bad or anything like I mentioned before. I like both obviously since I watch both subbed and dubbed anime but I definitely recommend checking this anime out. I feel like if you're a girl you're gonna love the romance uh, aspect of it and also if you're a guy you're gonna love the romance aspect because Morioka is utterly adorable and if you're someone who plays MMOs you'll also love it as well because you'll understand a lot of what they're doing within this actual realm and within the game. I don't play MMOs so for me some of the stuff I'm not gonna say went over my head but I was kind of like I don't really play them all that much but it kind of made me interested to start playing MMOs per se but yeah like I mentioned I loved this show I really thought it was really good also the opening and the ending songs were so good I actually had me like tapping my feet and stuff and actually wanting to listen to them compared to like fast forwarding through them to get to the actual show but that is my video for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I'll probably have another video out for you guys, of course, next week because like me, you guys know I'll come up with videos three times a week. So look out for that. Of course, in the comments below, let me know what you thought of this show. If you watched it, if you haven't watched it, will you watch it? And of course, like always, I'm always open to suggestions on what you guys would like to see on my YouTube channel. So it could be a plethora of different things. I kind of post like whatever I want, but a majority of it is anime related content. So yeah, definitely let me know down below. Like always, I will leave links in the description box to my social media accounts. That's my Instagram, my Twitter, and my blog as well. And of course, you guys, I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. So be on the lookout for those. And like always, you guys, click that subscribe button if you're enjoying my content. And click the bell icon so that you're notified of whenever I come out with new videos. Alright, you guys, that is my video. Like always, you guys, stay nerdy and be positive. Alright, you guys.